training camp for the Miami Dolphins begins in days but not every player is going to make it to the final 53-man roster and some of them will be veterans. Miami has a good problem for a change. They are stacked at several positions and the depth at those roster spots will allow them some flexibility but what they don't want to do is release these players. NFL teams will pounce on the Dolphins cast-offs this year so what Chris Greer needs to do is figure out what the needs of other NFL teams are and then start making phone calls. Unlike free agency, veterans who are released during camp do not factor into the compensatory draft pick formula. The Dolphins need to try and get something for these players. Over the course of the next two weeks, training camps will be in full swing, and whether by injury or other reasons, teams will find themselves needing to replace players on their roster. In Los Angeles, the Rams lost running back Cam Akers for the season. This, sadly, will not be the only injury that happens across the NFL landscape this year. For the Dolphins, these five players could bring the Dolphins something in return even if it is player for player or late round draft picks. We won't have Xavier Howard on this list. Adam Shaheen and Durham Smythe. The Dolphins are deep at tight end and added Hunter Long in the third round of last April's draft. While Mike Jasicki is in the final year of his rookie contract, he is still believed to be in the team's future plans beyond the 2021 season. Miami will have some tough decisions to make at tight end. Shaheen has another year on his deal but Smythe, like Jasicki, is in his final contract year. The Dolphins also seem to like Seathan Carter and have Chris Myurik as well. Of all the TEs on the roster, moving Smythe or Shaheen makes the most sense and of the two, Smythe would probably be the better one to move. Shaheen has shown solid progression and could develop into a well-rounded tight end but that also means he may have more value to another team than Smythe. Of course, the Dolphins could throw a massive curveball and take trade calls for Jasicki. If they do not view him as part of the future, then they absolutely should consider moving him this year. Would it surprise me? Yes, but it wouldn't shock me to see it either. Overall, I think that Smythe or Shaheen could be on the move sometime during camp eliminating the need to potentially cut one of them if Miami keeps Carter. Jakeem Grant. The Dolphins continue to bring in more wideouts to compete having added Isaiah Ford to the roster last week, again. The Dolphins will likely look at several players to return kicks and punts and if they find someone suitable, Grant is no longer of value. Grant has had five touchdowns in the return game the last five years and that is a value that few players have in the NFL now given all the rule changes but in the passing game, he simply hasn't taken that next big step and is still too inconsistent. Grant could draw interest from more than a few teams given the fact that he can play in the slot in addition to special teams. He won't bring the Dolphins much in compensation but with 14 players on the roster at WR, they just need to get something. Normally, Miami would miss his speed but the team is loaded with players who can fly around the field so in Grant's situation, the value that he has for now, is only on special teams and there may not be a roster spot for him this year. Albert Wilson and Alan Hearns. Take your pick because frankly, I'm not sure which one stays and which one goes. It is hard to imagine both of them making the roster even if the Dolphins keep seven receivers. Preston Williams, Devontae Parker, Jalen Waddell, Lynn Bowden Jr., Will Fuller are all pretty much locks to make the team barring injury. We mentioned Grant already but the Dolphins have a couple of players that could take up one of those last two remaining spots. Robert Foster is a player to keep an eye on and has a lot of potential and could replace Grant in the return game. Miami also likes Mac Hollins but would either of them take a spot away from Hearns or Wilson? Probably not, which makes them expendable should a team call about their availability. Of the two, I would think that Wilson would draw more interest but I think that Miami would have more interest in keeping him over Hearns. I'm not sure Hearns is going to draw much interest from other teams which may mean Wilson could be the guy that gets traded. He has more to offer on the field. The Dolphins will have to make some tough decisions this year. They have acquired talent across the entire team but some players will be traded before final cuts are made.